Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I am working in my memory planner, which is getting nice and chunky. And I'm going to be doing my memory planning for the week of April 25th through May the 1st. I have a ton of pictures here. Um, this is the week that my daughter and I got COVID after my husband had had COVID. So um, yeah, it was a week at home, but still some fun things happening. I am planning on using primarily Sweet Rush from Vicki Booten. I love her line, so, so pretty. So I'm gonna use that and I have some for stickers and things like that to add to it. All right, I will put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. Okay, I surprisingly have a ton of pictures from this week, even though I was at home with COVID, but I guess maybe I was bored and so I had plenty of time to take pictures. When I have a bunch of pictures, then I'd like to do kind of what I would call a picture explosion, which means all of the pictures, they're not gonna be lined up in the boxes. We are just gonna have them all grouped at the bottom. We're gonna go with the color scheme of the citrus colors like yellow and orange and then also bring in some blue as a cool tone as well. So I'm just kind of looking for some papers that are jumping out at me in those particular colors and we're going to get started but the first thing we're going to do is put some scrap paper at the bottom of the page and I love this blue. I love the mixed media feel of the Vicky Booten line without having to get messy with mixed media. I think it's awesome and super fun when it's your style um, like it's my style. I love um, the messy look of mixed media but sometimes I also don't feel like getting messy myself. So I'm going to anchor this paper at the bottom with these two tags that are going to kind of highlight the big points of the week which were testing positive for COVID and being in quarantine with my daughter. So we'll get those down on the page and then start filling in some of the pictures. I am using my Scotch Adhesive Tape Glider, which is that big pink tape gun. I love it. It has such a strong adhesive. I'm always really generous with adhesive on these pages because they don't go into the page protector. Um, these two tags at the side, they're going to help me because I didn't have enough of that blue paper to stretch all the way to the edge. So I'm going to use it to soften that kind of blunt edge of the 12 inch paper. And then we will layer a cardstock sticker behind it with this floral. And so now it feels like it continues really nicely. I actually wanted sort of a curved feeling and I think it works. I like, I like the look of how the bottom came together. And again, it's just going to anchor the page. We are about to have a ton a ton of photos all over the page which for me is important for memory keeping I know that some people really like a more minimal look they feel like it's overwhelming but I like to document as many of the pictures as I can and because I only do one spread a week this is just a, a fun way for me to get those pictures in so I'm just using those little bits that I had to cut off of the stickers that hung over the edge because I don't want to waste any and otherwise we are ready to start working with the photos I sped this up a lot, but what I'm doing is matting all of the pictures. I'm using a variety of those papers that I ended up um, picking out from the stack that again have that same color scheme. You're just going to get little hints of the paper sticking out. And yes, this does add bulk. You saw how bulky my memory album is getting. Generally, I break those memory albums up into six month segments and this particular one has about nine months in it, which is why it's looking so, so chunky, but I don't mind because I like the look. I like getting to use scrapbook paper and now that they're all matted, I'm going to start working on my little photo explosion that I had in my head. Generally, the pictures are going to be near or close to the day that they actually occurred, except for one group of pictures. So Saturday, April 30th, my mother-in-law um, got married and we were supposed to head to her wedding and then we all had COVID. And so we couldn't go. And um, even though we couldn't go, we decided to go ahead and dress up in our best and we watched um, the wedding via FaceTime. And so I have a bunch of pictures of us um, all dressed up. And so those are kind of spaced throughout the week just because I wanted to fit them where I could and there were a ton of pictures and I really wanted them on this page. So um, those are spread throughout, but everything else is kind of close to the day that it happened. And there's lots of pictures of my daughter and I in bed together. So we had to quarantine together, isolated from 
the boys because the twins um, never did get COVID, knock on wood. Um, and so we were able to kind of protect them. And my husband was the go-between because he was almost all the way recovered from COVID at that point. It was kind of just a crazy hectic week and you can see lots of pictures and I love this kind of just big grouping. And what this does when you do your pictures in a collage like this, it really allows you a lot more journaling space. So if I had spread these pictures all out in the boxes, um, I would have had really divided up journaling options and I actually had some really great space to add in the journaling, add in the story of the week. You can see I'm trying to tuck things in behind the scrapbook paper um, in some areas because I want it to um, pop out from back there. But I'm able to include a ton of pictures on the page and still get the words in there as well because of course the words are going to help tell the story of what this week was actually like. So getting all of those down. This time I'm using my Tombow adhesive but still being really generous with what we have um, with the adhesive on here so that it make sure to stick down um, and otherwise this is going to be come together pretty fast getting the very end of these pictures in here I just wanted to change this one up into a square just so it wouldn't stick down so far so getting all of this tucked in place I'm having to layer a little bit otherwise it's looking pretty good trimming off a few of the photos that went and hung over the side so getting that and then I will work on cutting the page apart before I cut the page apart, I am going to work with some of these cardstock stickers. Now I have all the pieces of this particular line from Vicki Booten, the Sweet Rush line, but I decided to just go with stickers in this case because I was knew I had so many photos and I was going to spend so much time on the matting. I didn't want to play with the paper pieces as well. So I decided to keep it pretty simple. I love cutting florals in half and tucking them behind photos. You just get two stickers for the price of one. And then all of these little circle stickers just again help tell the story all the phrases yes you might think well those are just generic phrases but because they go with those pictures it kind of furthers the story for me so it just makes more sense so I love including phrase stickers of all shapes and sizes on my memory planning spreads because I think it really helps convey what is going on during the week. So getting a few more of those on the page and then I will look at cutting it apart. It was actually a little bit difficult to cut because it was so thick with layered pieces. There were um, a couple of places where it was two photos laying on top of each other. So you're talking about four pieces of paper um, cutting through at that point. So it got a little bit tricky. I had to come from two different um, sections two different sides and then I did have to do a little bit of adhesive because part of it was kind of coming up but once that's done I just pull out my we are memory keepers disc punch it punches through all the things I love 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 this tool um, it just punches through so much and it's pretty easy on your hand so I'm going to use that to repunch the holes so that this will be able to go back in and then I'm going to add a little bit of lettering here at the bottom these uh, sticky alphas or puffy alphas are from Felicity Jane and I'm just giving this week a title. I don't always do this but I think it is a fun idea to kind of summarize your week in a short title. So this week was COVID week because that's what it was. COVID was what our week kind of centered around. I am super happy to be um, recovering, to be feeling much better as is my daughter and um, it's nice to kind of have that behind us. Once I finish with that, I'm going to pull out my T ruler and add in the lines that I like to journal with. So there's lots of ways to add in your journaling. You could certainly just freehand write, which is what I do, except I like having the lines because I'm nervous that I won't um, write in a straight line. You can always type up. If you're not pumped about your handwriting, you can type up little sections um, of journaling and add that in as well. So there are options just depending on what you prefer. I like having my handwriting in here. I think it um, looks nice and adds a little bit of interest. I will do a little bit of hand lettering over here on the edges and then do the rest of the journaling off of the camera. Otherwise, this memory planner spread is done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link this gorgeous line from Vicki Booten down below as well as the rest of the supplies I used. 
I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. It means the world to me. It helps me keep this channel going. If you want to find out more about Patreon, then make sure to click the link in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.